Well, this is classic cod in parsley sauce. You would think that's one of the most mundane and boring of fish dishes, but actually if it's made with some really nice cod, which this is, cod fillet, really thick cod fillet, and plenty of fresh parsley, lots of cream, lots of butter, lots of milk, it's actually a really, really nice dish. So I'll start off by, I've got about a litre of water in this pan, and I've just been gently simmering that for about five minutes. And that's basically all the flavouring I want in the, in the water, which is I'm going to poach the cod in. Just put a couple of teaspoons of salt in there, and then I'm just going to immerse the cod in the water and just bring it up to the boil quite quickly. And then just, I'm just going to then turn the water, the temperature off and leave the cod to poach in the residual heat which by the time the heat's gone down, in that amount of cod will be perfectly cooked inside. So, up to the heat, simmer for about two minutes. While I'm doing that, why don't I prepare the parsley, which is just broadleaf parsley, uh, which I'm gonna chop quite finely this time. Chop, 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 chop. Just looking at the cod now, if you have a look there, you'll see that it's turned a nice opaque color. I'm just gonna turn the temperature right down now. Just leave that there to cook in the, residual heat while I continue my chopping. So the basis of the sauce for this cod dish is what I call a velouté really. Velouté just means velvety in French and it's a sort of classic sauce which is basically you take flour and butter and cook them gently together and then you add lots of full cream milk and stock and the stock I'm going to use is from, um, from cooking poaching the cod then you just make a nice velvety sauce. And then I'm just going to finish it off with a little bit more cream and some butter. And Bob's your uncle. That will make a very nice sauce with this most excellent parsley. Good. That's, I'm going to leave that on my chopping board. Have a look at my cod. So I'm just going to get the temperature probe to see how we're doing. Very good idea to get one of these. They're not that expensive, but if you're cooking fish seriously, I just think it's a very, very special extra to have for your cooking. What I'm looking for here is a temperature of about 61 degrees in the center. Um, so I'm just going to the, the thickest part. We're not there really at the moment, we're about 10 degrees off. So that will be another two to three minutes, I would guess. Good, now then, while I'm waiting, let's start the sauce. So in a pan, I would add some butter about 15 grams of butter and just melt the butter in the pan. That's about 50 grams of butter and we're just going to add about 10-15 grams of flour. Now I'm just going to cook those together. I always like to say in my recipes when you're cooking them together until it smells nutty. That's just when the flour in there is beginning to cook out. There we go. Smell and the nuttiness. So now some milk. We've got about 100 mils of milk. So just stir that in and it'll start to thicken up quite nicely in a sec. There you see, it's starting to thicken. And at this stage, before it starts to burn, I'll add some more milk. There we go. And now I'm gonna find myself a ladle somewhere and add some of that cooking juice from the cod. Stir that round. Simplest of sauces, this. Have a bit of a taste. Yum, yum. But can really taste the lemon in that. A bit more um, juice from cooking the cod. And the rest of the milk. Stirry, stirry, stirry. Now I'm just going to turn that down and let that simmer away. Just going to let that thicken up. I'm just going to add some cream now, about 50 mils of cream. Give that a nice richness. So as you can see, it's a bit thin now, but by letting it simmer away the volume of liquid will reduce and we'll get a nice concentrated flavour. Always like to taste my sauces all the way through the making of them. That's going to be very nice. Leave that to simmer away. Now I'll check my cod. Again with my temperature probe into the thickest part. We're there. The temperature I'm looking for in the cod is 60 degrees and I've got 57, 58 now. The temperature of the water is 60, 62 degrees. So basically, this is a really good point about poaching fish. I can leave that in there now until I'm ready to serve. It's not gonna cook out anymore because the water's 
No water. I'm just cooking this quite quickly now. And a little tip if you are cooking a milk based sauce like this, just make sure you stir it very thoroughly. What I'm looking for is coating the back of a spoon consistency, which is not quite there yet, but it's nearly there. Just put a tiny bit more cream in there as well. And I'm going to add some butter in a minute as well, just to really increase the cholesterol levels. But as I always say, a little bit of what you fancy. Okay, I can throw the butter in now. I'm going to put in about another 30 to 40 grams of butter. Just stir that in. And it won't split because there's still plenty of liquid in the sauce. Now that is becoming exactly where I want it. Finally, a little taste. Just a tiny little sprig of lemon juice in there. And now I'm going to take that off the heat and add the parsley. Okay, we're ready to serve up.